Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. London's anti-Trump balloon upstaged by anti-Sadiq Khan balloon that raises more money. 2018 is getting strange. Opponents of Donald Trump have insisted for months that he's nothing but an out-of-control baby. If that baby somehow made billions of dollars in business and then pulled off one of the biggest presidential election upsets in history. Intent on forcing their skewed vision of Trump on the world, a group of leftists have decided to raise a stack of money in order to whimsically terrorize London. Their plan, make our six-meter-high orange, inflatable baby with a malevolent face and tiny hands fly over central London during Trump's UK visit. That's the official description of a crowdfunded project that recently launched and has so far raised over £27,170. It seems like a joke, but they're apparently serious. Using the online platform Crowdfunder, anti-Trump voices are raising money to make the satirical Trump balloon a reality, and then inflate it over London when the president visits. Trump is a, racist demagogue who is a danger to women, immigrants and minorities and a mortal threat to world peace and the very future of life on Earth state the details of the crowdfunded project based in England. A place where, er, minority immigrants are currently posing a danger to women. Moral outrage is water off a duck's back to Trump. But he really seems to hate it when people make fun of him, the project description continued. So when Trump visits the UK on Friday the 13th of July this year, we want to make sure he knows that all of Britain is looking down on him and laughing at him, the bizarre project explained. That's why a group of us have chipped in and raised enough money to have a six-meter-high blimp made by a professional inflatables company, to be flown in the skies over Parliament Square during Trump's visit. Think about that for a moment, if Donald Trump truly is an evil villain and a threat to the very future of life on Earth, would a whimsical balloon really stop him? Wouldn't that money be better spent actually solving problems, like London's soaring crime rate and shockingly prevalent terrorism problems? Maybe somebody should ask Sandeep Khan. The Muslim mayor of London and frequent critic of Trump has insisted that everything is just fine in England's capital, despite strong evidence that the once great city is teetering on the brink of being an unrecognizable shadow of its former glory. That's probably why a group of competing pranksters have decided to one-up the inflatable Trump baby, yes, that's a sentence that we're printing in a serious news story about global politics. We told you 2018 was getting strange. In an effort to show that Khan is far less popular than Trump. A second crowdfunder campaign has launched, this one with the goal of flying a giant baby con balloon over London to demonstrate our unhappiness with him as our mayor of London. In light of the Donald Trump baby Trump balloon being allowed to fly over London during his visit to the UK, let's get a baby con one and see if free speech applies to all and whether or not Mr Khan and the London Assembly will also approve this, the project declared. Under Sandeep Khan, we have seen crime skyrocket to unprecedented levels. People in London don't feel safe and they aren't safe, 81 murders this year alone. Con out, it stated. To the chagrin of anti-Trump voices in England, the project meant to mock Con has gotten significantly more attention than the one that inspired it. As of Sunday afternoon, the giant balloon mocking Con has raised well over £35,408, compared to the £27,170 pledged to mock Trump. In fairness, both projects are pretty ridiculous. What they show, However, is that Trump isn't nearly as unpopular overseas as his critics would have us believe. At the very least, London's own mayor seems to have far less support. More importantly, this shows that Trump haters don't seem to even take their own rhetoric seriously, after all, a giant inflatable baby isn't how you'd actually respond if you truly believe that a fascist Nazi had seized the White House. It's fake outrage, and nothing but a load of hot air. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.